What's up everyone? Welcome to another Division video. It's me VG and this is quite a special video. It's a number one of a five part series. Um, it goes by the name of the Chronicles of Phoenix. And it's all about the survival shield, which is named the Phoenix Shield. So there are three objectives to complete. Number one being extract five items. Number two survive five hours. And number three kill five hunters in survival. So I've been quite busy in survival. I've already survived five hours. Um, and I've made it to the dark zone. Um, and I've actually come up against one hunter. But unfortunately I've died all of those times. So I thought uh, why not make a series out of it. Bring new content to the page. And hopefully by, hopefully by the end of the five part series I would have killed five hunters and extracted the five items. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Walk that on boy. Okay, where I spawn. Ooh, not too bad. I actually like this spot. Um over here in 36th Street. Around about there is an entrance to the underground. Subway tunnels. Um I like going down there because there's a lot of loot. I'll be bypass and the helicopter crash which is nice. Okay, let me go ahead and get the painkillers and the fabric and then I'll be out of here. I've actually like fine-tuned my survival strategy. I've basically managed to sort of get to know the area and where I can find certain things. And then I came across the subways. They are actually quite a good place to go and loot. Kill these guys. Okay, one down. Oh my goodness, five to go. Come on, show your face. Okay. I hate using a pistol so much. I'm trying to change now. Maybe quickly. Man, other dude. There was one more. Yep, I hear you. Oh, there you are. Come on, man. Okay. So, survival isn't actually my favorite just game or DLC out there. That's why I basically left this shield for last. Besides the one that's still coming out in February. I just I don't know. I think it's the time limit. But I don't know, it just doesn't gel with me. I don't like playing survival at all. But if I want to get all the shields out Try and get through here. There's some nice things in here. Oh. I'm electronics. Hopefully that vending machine works. Ooh, some gear. Nice to respond to mobs. And a gun. Doing something good. Okay. I like marksman rifles. They seem to work pretty well in survival. I think because they're so powerful. More electronics. So as I've said, I set the waypoint, work my way to that waypoint, and then on the way, whatever I can salvage, whatever I can loot, I loot it. And by the time I get to the waypoint, I usually have a good amount of gear as well as weapons. 
and also a fair bit of painkillers and food and water and so on because once they get into the tunnel there's a lot of NPCs in the tunnels so I actually need a good weapon before I get there usually a marksman rifle Can you behind? No, not in this one. Ah, oh, clothing. Give me something good. Oh my goodness. Not really the best, but okay, it will help. So what I do is I usually medicine. I usually try and get my clothing up to minus 17. Um minus 17 or above. Because that's what the dark zone's temperature is. So basically in the dogs and I can run without actually caring too much about the temperature. Ooh, is it Another plan of mine in survival is if I haven't got a good enough weapon, I tend to avoid all combat as much as possible. If I have a good marksman rifle or assault rifle, then I would take on some of the NPCs, you know, the red color NPCs. But otherwise, I just stay out of combat completely. Warm up, friend, warm up. We'll take out these NPCs from here. Dude, how could you be so ugly towards me? Oh, come on. Oh, this is good, good bomb. Oh, that one is not quite good. Why is all coming to you? Oh shit, I had a machine gun. Nice. Okay. Is that the last one? Is this one cleared already? Let's hope not. I don't think so. No, it hasn't. Where's the NPC? Oh, yes, they eat. Fire. Ah, good. Could I came back to this crash? Well, the uh, to the I need to go to the I need
getting quite a bit of consumables in here. Not getting that much um, clothing. And energy bar. Fifteen agents already. Dudes be dying out here. Turning out to be quite a decent survival run. Okay. Not too bad. Yeah, it's got to okay, help. What is it to be a That's gonna help. Quite a handy little store. Clothing lane everywhere. Need something good. Okay, I'll accept that. Let me just go see what is at the back here. Detecting lowering of core body temperature. Threat of hypothermia increased. Oh, the bridges. Canned food. More canned food. 22 seconds ago, I'll eat that. And then I can take one of those. Wondering if I go I just try and loot as much as possible. Because in the end, the more weapon parts and fabric and electronics I have, the easier it is for me to make my way through the dark zone quickly. So then, once I eat like 20 minutes um, of like yard left. I then go into the dark thing and I'm able to get in and out quick. Here we go. I don't think it's this one, but it's one of them. Okay. So that is an exit. It's usually Soda. I think I got three so oh I'm so dead. Okay, I've actually landed up seems to be like the middle of the system. Which isn't ideal since it's two ways to go. So I think uh let me just make sure I Oh no, this is the one in the think. Yeah, definitely this is the one in. So I want to take out this purple dude as fast as possible. Dude, he popped up. Wow, the gun is horrible.
Ooh, another bubble guy. Um, we are going to take off here. Oh my goodness, this is not going well. Just get back. Come on, reload. Oh, this is not doing well. Okay, I'm down. No! Horrible gameplay. Horrible. Dude. We just need some food just to regain some health. Load this. Gun. Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. I see him. I see him. Let's pick up these things quickly. Come on, get your aiming going. Yo, this guy is so lucky. Oh, it's evil. Okay, this is one end, that's great. Let me start off from this side, start looting from this side. Nice. See what I mean? That's not gonna do. See what I mean? So much fabric and clothing in here. So I love coming to the underground tunnels. It really sets you up pretty well for the dark zone I'll take that anyway ok so we drink water Let's lose the skin so quickly. Yep. Take that. Don't need that. Need that. I think my temperature is quite good. There's a silver trophy for getting your temperature up to... I think it's 21. I managed to get that trophy already. Okay, nice. here's the next subway. I think there's about... There's three subways. What the heck? Wait, what the heck is going on here? Yeah, there's three... If I'm not mistaken, three subways. With enemies. Hmm... Let's see, there's a bit of vantage point here. I love a marking rifle. Beat that it, man. Oh, 
It's shocked. I'm okay, yeah. What, uh... Craft sequence, okay. Energy ball. Uh, I think I need to take medicine as well. Let me take that water now. How much time do I have? Still 58 minutes. Okay, good. By the time, I think I'll be out of here by, let's say, 25. Just need to do one more platform, if I can call it that. Don't need that. Don't need that either. So you see guys, getting into the underground tunnels really beneficial. Gives you so much loot. What do you guys think about Anthem? I'm super excited for Anthem. I think once once Anthem comes out, uh, I'm gonna be off the division. Until Division 2 comes out obviously, and then I'll have to basically multitask between the two games, between Anthem and the Division 2. Which is probably going to be a nightmare. But I'll manage somehow. But I'm really super excited for Anthem. All the videos I've watched, it's just increasing my excitement. <laughs> it's always important to drink water, guys. It shows you all of the loot through the walls, which makes looting so much easier. And then don't forget to eat your snack bars and your canned foods as well because it basically acts like a nomad build to regenerate your health over time. So those are those two cost you consume balls are quite or well, very important actually. Oh yes, the last platforms actually only have one NPC. Um who's walking around here somewhere I think he's a yeah he's a purple purple NPC so just watch out for that because he is around here somewhere there he is so there is more than one though what am I imagining there he is That was two shots that must No we're not going to the Nice. Okay. That's the last of the NPCs that are oop watch out there. Mine not explosive. Um, that's the last of the NPCs in the tunnels. I still have 38 minutes life expectancy, so that's good. Made it out with quite a bit of time left. And then there's always fabric in this thing. Or clothing, I should say. Then mm. just the last bit of loot. There should be some water and canned foods and some tools. You know, there's been so many times that 
my survival run has started like this and continued in such a good way and then I basically just throw it all away in the dark zone so hopefully I don't do that this time maybe take some pain to this since I have a bit of it okay that rounds up the underground tunnels that was totally awesome and there is a hideout I wonder should I go to let me go to this one it's closer to the dog zone look at that temperature minus 20 see what I mean good gear down downstairs in the subway Okay, let's see what I can craft. So what I usually do is just get all of the green into blue as a starter. That's a lot of tools, a lot of fabric. Electronics, even more electronics. So this is really a good one. Um, and then what I'll do is just craft the basic. I like to craft the advanced filter as well so that I can go down into the contaminated areas in the dark zone and collect division tech and then I can get another med kit oh wait no an additional pouch yes that's the one additional pouch I usually just work on three med kits I don't see a need for more and then what I also craft is a pulse I like the pulse and then also a turret but I do not have enough weapon parts for that so I'll leave it it's not really a must I don't really use it um and then yeah I'll craft the gun once I'm in dark zone for now I'm sorted Okay, so once I'm in the dark zone, what I usually do first is go for the antivirals. I just like to get all the objectives out of the way. So then I can focus purely on looting. Especially down underground. So what I do is I go for the antivirals. And then immediately after that I craft the flare gun. And then after that I go for the division tech for the crafting of the weapon. which is a marksman rifle as well ok so there's the antiviral so just as before avoid all combat as much as possible I actually died here once right here at the spot trying to fight NPCs so let's not do that again Oh shit, okay, that wasn't nice. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Dodge, 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 dodge. Just keep dodging, I need a turret. Would be nice to have a turret. Just to get them distracted and off my back. Antivirals one up. Okay. Make sure no one's here. Get it, get it, get it. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, boy. Oopsie. Sorry, lady. Just run. Incoming for evac right now. I need to get away from them so I can 
<laughs> Look for a safe house. Oh, what I can do is. Uh, let's go down. These are basically the only areas that have the division taking them. Like here. Right on right on spot. Now what I need is to find some crates that I can extract. There's no use me extracting nothing. So now that's next on the list. Uh Find at least one or two, maybe three crates. What is this? I've never opened one of these. Wow! Thank you. Take the door. Okay, first, I'm gonna open one of those. Uh, going up. So maybe one more. Yes. One more thing. I think three is good for now. If I find anything on the way, I'll definitely get it. But let's get to a hideout. Okay, so let's get crafting. So first up, a flare gun. Flare gun required for extraction is now detected. Okay, and then let's just see what uh, what you want to craft. That will be the best gun. Would be the custom M44, which requires three weapon parts. One tools and one division tech, all high end. So let me go and let me just see. Um, magazines and scopes. Okay, firearms. Yeah, that would be nice. Need all high end stuff. Yeah, this high end stuff as well. Okay. Um, let's start off with blue again. Uh, Um, electronics, get some electronics going, fabric, tools, and then three parts. Okay, so let's firstly just craft it custom. That's what I need. Wait. Okay, there. Okay, the custom is stronger. So let's craft the custom. I can put it. I'm not sure. I think micro red dot for this one. Mm. Let's go for this one. I don't really know, but let's go for it. Eight shot damage. Okay. Okay. Time has arrived. Time to face the hunter. I hope it goes well. Just run past these guys. And dodge, and dodge, and dodge, and dodge. Oh, not into the ball. Okay, I think this extraction should be fine. If I can just not go past that shotgun, that still is close. Great. Wow. Nice. Uh. Okay, get away rather. Let's just go, let's just 
Okay. No, this is not the extraction. Is this the extraction? I thought it was this one. Oh, it is this one. I'll do the open. Um, before we do that, let's take a medicine. Before we do that, let's take that and water and let's go this way. Oh, there he is. Fifteen seconds. Let's start oh, yeah, yeah. it. Whoa, dude. Baby, he's made over there. Why is this too hard? Come on! Is someone else is too hard? to land dude I, I cannot Hello, save you I'm so seconds. sorry I'm so sorry dude I'm so sorry where's the eye out ah oh, you're so poor I'm so sorry I'm so so sorry get in get in get in yeah Buddy, first survival out of the way. So that's the end of the first episode of the Chronicles of Phoenix. It was a pretty successful one. I at least managed to extract five items, so that objective is also complete. And I managed to kill the one hunter. So, so far so good. Um, the series is looking lit, 
and uh, I hope you enjoyed it guys. Until next time, peace.